In this video, I'm going to discuss the NAT node available in version 2.0 of GNS3. This allows you to connect your GNS3 devices to the internet without any configuration, but it does require the GNS3 VM or Linux. This node also replaces the internet VM. The conversion will be automatic for internet VM users. An additional benefit of the NAT node is that it consumes less RAM and CPU. Now you can find out the details of version two by going to the documentation on GNS3's website, clicking on release notes and clicking version 2.0. So the NAT node is one of the new options available in GNS3 2.0. In this topology, I'm running GNS3 2.0 Dot zero beta 3. Under the all devices option in GNS3, I have the NAT node. So I'll drag that to the workspace. In addition, I'll drag a iOS V router to the workspace and then connect the router to the NAT cloud. So it's as simple as that to connect a GNS3 device to the cloud. I'll start this up and I'll open up a console to the router. The router is booting up. iOS V devices take a while to start up. This iOS V device is running in the GNS3 VM, which is recommended on both Mac and Windows. In this example, I'm using VMware Fusion on a Mac, but the process is very similar if you're using Windows. So we have to wait for the router to boot up, and then we'll configure an IP address using DHCP on the router. You don't have to do any other configuration apart from that to get one router to connect to the internet. In a moment, I'll also show you how to add an additional router to the topology and get that router to connect to the internet. Okay, so the router is booted up. I'm going to bypass the initial configuration dialog. So on the console, go on to gigabit 00, enable DHCP, so IP address DHCP, no shut. While I'm here, I'll rename the router as router one. Show IP interface brief shows us that no address is currently assigned, but we are using DHCP on gigabit to zero zero. We get a message to the console telling us that this address was allocated via DHCP. So show IP interface brief. This is the address that was allocated via DHCP. Show IP route shows us that the router has learnt about a default gateway, which is the NAT device, so ping google.com. I'm able to connect to devices on the internet, so there's cisco.com. It's as simple as that to get a router to connect to the internet using GNS3 2.0. All I did was configure DHCP on the interface connected to the NAT device. This router once again is running in the GNS3 VM. Now, if I want to extend the topology, I could, as an example, bring another router into the topology and connect it to the first router. I'll power up this router. What I'll do is configure the router on the left with an IP address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24, and the router on the right will use IP address 10.1.1.254. So you can move your devices around and make, make your topology look good. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Now this is the problem. The NAT device doesn't know about this internal network the NAT device doesn't run a routing protocol. So what we'll have to do is configure router one with NAT so that it can NAT 
traffic sent by router two. So on gigabit zero zero, IP NAT outside. Interface gigabit zero one, IP NAT inside. IP NAT inside source list one. So we'll use access list one. Interface gigabit zero slash zero overload. Access list one permit any. So if you've got any additional devices in your GNS3 topology, you'll need to configure NAT on the router that connects you to the internet device. So configure an IP address using DHCP, and then enable NAT and make this the outside address. On your internal address, set it to NAT inside, and don't forget to configure an IP address like I did there. So I'll configure that IP address on the inside. So again, this is the outside interface. This is the inside interface. And I've configured NAT as follows using an access list of one. On router two, the internal router in my GNS3 topology, I'm gonna bypass the initial configuration dialog. And all I'm gonna do on that router is point it to router one. So on router two, host name router two, interface gigabit zero zero, IP address 10111. No shut, IP route. Default gateway will be 111254. IP domain lookup is required. That is the default on iOS V, but is not the default on Dynamips images. IP name server, and I'll simply use Google for this. So, IP route, ping, google.com. So it's trying to get to Google, Let's see if I made a mistake on my NAT translations. I forgot to no shut the interface over there. So let's try that again. Notice I can now ping google.com. So the NAT device makes it very easy to connect your GNS3 network to the outside world. But don't forget that if you wanna have multiple internal devices, in GNS3 connecting you to the internet, you need to enable NAT on this Edge GNS3 device. This also assumes that your local network has internet access. So my PC, or in this case Mac, has internet access. So I can ping google.com. So this NAT device will require that your local PC have internet access. But if that's true, then it's very easy to get GNS3 to connect to the internet when using GNS3 version two. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.